guys so it is me I don't even know how I start these videos anymore I haven't made a video since or like a true video since I guess my medieval fair uh, video back in September but even then I didn't do the like intro so this is very weird uh, I haven't filmed a video in a really long time. I was going to film a Halloween costume video, but then I got tonsillitis and was in bed for Halloween. Um, so you may be wondering, Fiona, your hair looks different. Yes, yeah, because it's a wig and uh, my hair needed to be washed and I wasn't about to wash it for you all, I'm sorry. So today I'm filming a video of what's inside my Convention bag! Woo! It's been a hot minute since I've been to a convention. Uh, it's January and the last convention I went to was in June. Um, I've just been super busy with school and commissions, which is great, but I don't have much time to sew anything for myself. I am definitely the, like, bag mom of the group. Uh, if anyone needs anything, chances are I'll have it. So today I'm going to be going through what I carry in my convention bag. Let's do this. So the first thing on my list and in my bag, and this is probably the most important thing I have in my convention bag. Like I would almost rather forget my phone than forget this. <laughs> And that is my makeup bag. Uh, now this makeup bag isn't just a makeup bag, it's a bag of many things. And makeup bag for me is especially crucial because the minute I start to feel icky and greasy, the minute my stamina starts to just plummet into the depths. Let's go into what we have here. So first thing I see are contact case. If you're wearing contacts, and you know, usually your eyes start to feel a little icky. A few hours wearing into contacts, you don't wanna be trapped and have to wear those contacts all day. A, it's uncomfortable, and B, it can be really dangerous for your eyes. And with that contact case comes contact solution. When you take your contacts out, you need a little contact solution. You may have those like little carrier cases where your contact solution and contacts are all like in the same little compact, that's great. I don't have one of those, but I have this like little travel size of contact. Um, I have a bigger bottle of contact solution and then I have this little travel size of contact solution, um, which I bring on the go with me. So contact case and contact solution is important, necessary, I would say, if you are wearing contacts. Uh, next thing, which is almost just important as the contact case and contact solution, if not the most important thing, is pressed powder. Uh, my pressed powder has an elastic around it because the hinge broke and I refuse to get a new one because it's still perfectly fine. Pressed powder though, you're getting oily, it's hot, maybe it's not hot and you're lucky. Most of the times I'm sweaty, it's hot, and I need to retouch my makeup. You don't want to take a picture and then see that like flashback later and you're like a disco ball. So powder is important. Ah, uh, the next thing, and this is where I start to get into the more cosplay related items, but then again, I bring this on the go with me anywhere, anyways, and that is a little hairbrush. Um, I'm pretty sure I got this from the dollar store. It's like one of those like little kitty hairbrushes, but it's perfect when you're wearing a wig. Whenever I go towards, a, like go to a convention and I don't have a comb with me, I feel very uneasy because I'm like, oh God, I know one gust of wind in this wig's gonna look like a bird's nest. So a comb, very important. The next thing I have in my little makeup bag is this little like compact mirror. Um, this is super handy because a lot of the times you may need to touch up something that doesn't require you going into a washroom or you're at the opposite end of the convention center and the washroom's on the opposite end and you don't wanna make the journey of life to go to the washroom just to reapply your lipstick. Next thing I have in my little makeup bag is lip balm or at least I did, is lip balm. This is kind of self-explanatory. Uh, nothing like applying lipstick over chapped lips. And the next thing I have in my makeup bag are my um, lip tints, lipsticks of choice. Um, this is always something the minute you eat or drink anything, the lipstick always comes off or sometimes you just need to reapply. So lipstick or your lip tint of choice um, so you can reapply throughout the day. 
And this also works great for blush at the same time. It saves you the space of carrying a blush compact with you as well. I forgot eyelash glue. Eyelash glue is so important if you're wearing false eyelashes at a convention. Just don't forget it. We're not done yet. One thing I love about this makeup bag is that I have this big front pocket here which I put on my lip or makeup products in. I keep going off the of lipsticks. And then I have this little side pocket which I use for more of the like necessities I guess. Um, so for example, I have a packet of tissues in here. I have pads and tampons in here. Um, I have band-aids, bobby pins, um, hair elastics. Uh, I also have this little container of wet wipes, which is super handy when you're at a convention. You get something on you, it's sticky, or you're just feeling hot and you want to refresh. The wet wipes are super handy. One thing that I don't have in here at the moment, but definitely, definitely you need to carry, especially when you're like wearing a wig or you're at a convention all day. And I wrote, I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget. So band-aids, tissues, Advil or ibuprofen or some kind of pain relief medication or any medication that you take. Um, it's very important to bring with you. So the next thing I have in um, my convention bag, and this is a no-brainer, but is my wallet. Um, I have my ID and all my cards in here, change, blah, 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 blah. Wallet, very good and important. Uh, the next thing I have in my convention bag is a portable phone charger. I would recommend bringing one of these with you instead of a phone charger, just because you're not always guaranteed to like be near an outlet or find an outlet. Um, while as this is always charged and on the go, just make sure to charge it or else you're just carrying around a dead portable phone charger or battery charger. This has saved my phone so many times, especially because I have an older phone um, that dies constantly. So without this, I would literally be walking around with a dead phone all the time. Next thing I have in my little bit convention bag is the separate little pouch. And I, and here I have a little sewing kit. I got this from the dollar store, super helpful nowadays. A lot of conventions have like repair stations, which is super great and handy, but just in case there isn't or you're very far away from it or you're on the train to the convention or a bus and your cosplay kind of snaps in a spot, you got a little, uh, little sewing kit with you. Um, I also have nail filers in here and um, Advil. Oh, here's my Advil. I have Advil, <laughs> more Band-Aids, and this is not a necessity, but this is a charm I got at a temple in Japan and it's for uh, romance. So clearly that's my hopeless romantic coming out because I don't know why this is in there and I used to carry this around with me everywhere in my school bag. So um, we're just not gonna talk about that. Next thing I have in my convention bag is a water bottle. This is very important um, because you need to stay alive and you need to hydrate yourself. And also bringing a reusable water bottle stops you from purchasing the one time use plastic ones. So reusable water bottle keeps you hydrated and you're not buying plastic that's gonna sit in a landfill forever. Next thing I have in my convention bag and that is a not a tiny little bag inside of a bag. These are super handy. Um, I got this again at like a dollar store and you can like hook it onto the side of a bag but basically what it is is inside this little pouch it's a bag and again super useful because you can carry around like let's say you're at a convention and you start buying stuff throughout the day um, this is a, it's a great place to put all that stuff. And also, again, it stops you from using the single use, or not single use, but like the plastic bags. This has gotten so much use. I've used it so many times and saved myself from using so many plastic bags. Next thing I have in my bag is some mints. Um, this may seem like a very frivolous thing, but I always try and have mints or gum with me. I find a lot of my stamina and how I'm feeling at conventions circles around how refreshed I'm feeling. So even though I'm not like physically cleaning myself, <laughs> 
or brushing my teeth, like I'm popping in a mint, having like a sip of water, you know, brushing out my wig and reapplying my makeup. It just makes me feel more refreshed and kind of, I just, it's a little like pick me up. And who knows, you never know when you're just gonna find someone you wanna snitch. No, totally, that's not why I bring them, but you know, you don't know, maybe. And going off of that thing I mentioned about refreshment and refreshing, this is kind of a little hack of mine, very handy. That is cooling wipes. Uh, you can get, sadly, I don't think they sell these in Canada. I stocked up on them when I went to Japan last time because it was so stinking hot I went in the summertime. And I don't know why all the other countries aren't onto this. It just seems to be Japan, but there's these things you can buy. They're like cooling wipes. Um, they're often scented and you just like, they, they look like wet wipes. You just wipe them down on your arms or like your back of your neck or whatever feelings, whatever is feeling kind of sticky and icky. And it has some like menthol or something in it. And it just instantly feels like, like a breath of fresh air. It feels so good. Me and my friends, like I brought these one year at a convention. It was super hot and I was just passing them out and me and my friends all agreed that they were like a lifesaver. They felt so good. Um, I, you probably can, I know you can get these like on Amazon or something. I'm not sure about the price or if you know someone who's in Japan or going to Japan, maybe they could pick some of these up for you. But these are so useful when you're at a convention. And again, I just get very overwhelmed and overstimulated and feeling sweaty and icky just really kind of like adds to that like fight or flight sensation I feel. So these really help kind of like ground me again and that with the mints and the hairbrush and all of, all of it all combined it's just like this little like relaxation zen method I've packed into my bag. On that same kind of thread is, now this is more useful for if you're going to a convention in the winter time, but heat packs. I got these from a local Korean grocery store near me. Um, you could probably get them at like a TNT or you could probably get them online. Not so much if you're driving to a convention, but I know that I have a lot of like younger viewers. So some of you are probably busing or taking the train to a convention. And in the winter time, I don't know where you live, Again, I live in Canada, it gets super cold here and my feet are always the first thing that suffer, especially in cosplay shoes. So I have two kinds here. I have these ones, which are little stickers that you put on your socks and they basically warm up and keep your feet warm. Um, these ones last for up to five hours. That's pretty freaking good. Um, now these ones I have, these ones are like little hot packets that you put in your pocket. Um, and these are really handy. Again, it's cold out. You're wearing your big winter jacket. You can just shove your hands in your pocket where these little heat packs are and instantly feel a lot warmer. I also had these ones where they're like stickers and you can stick them onto your clothing wherever you feel like you need it. And they heat up again and they just feel so warm and toasty and they last like these ones last for up to 15 hours i don't know why you would need a hot packet for 15 hours but they do yeah so that's all what i carry in a convention bag um i'm sure you could add so much more like snacks or like extra shoes but uh no i really tried to keep it down right to the basics and the necessities in my opinion again the mints aren't really necessities but they're like this big okay so ask yourself what am i realistically going to need at this convention i know it can be very exciting and you want to pack everything and anything but to pack smartly and pack lightly, be specific and mindful in what you pack. That's what I would bring to a convention. If you see me at a convention ever and you're like, hey, do you have any bobby pins or eyelash glue? Chances are, yeah, I got you. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it's been so long since I filmed anything. I've just been super busy. Um, as you can see, there's just a Madoka cosplay sitting behind me um, that needs to be shipped out, but I don't have anywhere to store her. So she lives here on the back of the couch right now because I don't want it to get squished. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.